A saying goes that one can measure the greatness and moral progress of a nation by monitoring its treatment of animals. Pakistan, covering a land area of 803,940 square kilometers, is rich in biodiversity. It has been divided into 10 major ecological zones. The pressures on biodiversity in Pakistan are reported to be many, but something that needed immediate resolution was the hunting at levels of exploitation. Pakistan is a signatory to the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, that's CBD, since 1992. To implement the convention, federal and provincial authorities have made significant attempts for the protection of biodiversity and natural capital of the country. Conservation of biodiversity has been highlighted as a priority area. The plateau of Potahar, home to the amazing species of wildlife, such as mountain sheep and patriches. Unfortunately, most of these species went on the verge of extinction because of overhunting. ਅੱਜ ये इसका है कि रात को ये इनके अंदर सारा तीतर होता है इसका। Huge flocks of seasonal birds were seen in the region decades ago, but then their population started declining. The region experienced a shortage of such species of birds and wild animals, as every second person used to have a gun and was seen going for a hunt. However, now there are some succession stories of wildlife conservation where the local people with the cooperation of public sector and World Wild Fund WWF establish private reserves and conservations and have registered with the local government departments of the region. This step has not only helped to control overhunting and maintain their population to a greater extent, but has also helped the local community to generate funds through the introduction of trophy hunting for hunters from inland and abroad. This has helped some conservation areas to generate a lot of money which is spent on various development projects. This would eventually alleviate poverty as well. Game reserves are areas of land designed to allow wild animals which are often hunted for food or sport to roam freely away from poachers or hunters. Many reserves are open for the public, giving visitors the chance to experience a wide range of fauna in its natural habitat, commonly on safari tours or as part of a conservation program or a rehabilitation project. Also known as game parks, these areas are usually large open havens for a diverse mix of wildlife. Volunteering as a game ranger makes for an exciting and unique gap year experience as the hunting is open for a few days in the whole year. Thus, it's a great opportunity to help monitor and conserve our natural heritage and biodiversity. We have uh, recently been uh, able to get a private game reserve notified by the provincial government by the name of uh, Padri Private Game Reserve, which is located in uh, Tehsil Sohaba. And potentially it is a portrait area. And uh, as like any other public hunting lands, it, the area was extensively hunted and uh, some of my friends and uh, family members owned a substantial piece of land. So we decided to uh, have the entire area declared as a private game reserve because you see, this is my passion, not only to uh, uh, hunt lawfully, but in the proper way, the way, you know, like as a sport. And for that, you need to have a proper game management. Unless you do that, you cannot uh, have a sustained hunting sport. It is done everywhere in the world, whereas, you know, people get involved, communities get involved, 
they become partner in the uh, you see in the conservation process and whereby the fruits are transferred to them through trophy hunting and for the commercial hunting permits Fall and winter are wonderful times to get out to enjoy nature and to see wildlife. Birds are migrating and can sometimes be seen in big flocks. Drive by a cut out field and you'll see the huge prehistoric sandhill crane. Different types of birds bath through the bird feeder lands. And many animals get in their big meals. It's really a magical time to be out there in the woods. This is also the time of the year hunters are out in the woods. One must be an early riser to be a successful hunter. The hunters enjoy the sights and sounds of nature and wildlife. Communing with nature is a huge draw for hunters. So as another hunting season winds down, it's a good time to look at the important role hunting plays in conserving wildlife. For all wildlife species, not just the ones that are hunted. Hunters help conserve and manage wildlife in three ways. Hunting is an important management tool. For many wildlife species, hunting helps to maintain populations at levels compatible with human activity, land use and available habitat. For example, hunting helps limit animal browse in agriculture areas and animal car collisions. Hunting may also help their cultivated fields from getting eaten by animals. Over the last 15 or 20 years, we have seen that wherever the community has been involved, wildlife has thrived. It started in Gilgit, Baltistan uh, in 1993 uh, when the community was involved and trophy hunting was introduced. There are people who feel that killing of wildlife uh, would decimate it. Actually, that's not true. If the benefits of wildlife conservation and trophy hunting uh, accrue to the local people, to the community, wildlife thrives. Actually, there's so much financial returns to the community. And if you were to go to Gilgit, Baltistan, you'll find out that the community invests the money that it earns from wildlife uh, trophy hunting into their schools, into their dispensaries and hospitals. They've even built a hostel for the community in Gilgit so that when people uh, move to the provincial headquarters of Gilgit, they don't have to look for uh, any hotel. Uh, they just move into their hostel where uh, for virtually um, a very small amount of money uh, they live over there. It's a game that teaches the discipline, collectivity, self-control and teamwork. Hunters pay for the bulk of wildlife conservation across the country. This money is then apportioned to state wildlife agencies based on the land area and the number of licensed hunters of each area. Yet these hunters are not allowed to cross the rules and customary manners of the hunting. Conservation is extremely important because it stops illegal hunting, poaching. And uh, that is all done through the community because if the villagers around here, they discourage uh, this type of shoot which is illegal. So that helps the uh, population to grow 
And this is what has happened in the last three years in this particular CBO. Moreover, some researchers have argued that sport hunting is both economical and ecologically recommendable. That is, sport hunting can support wildlife conservation policies and local development by providing huge amounts of revenue and it can ensure ecological conservation through the enforcement of strict hunting rules. I'll just add one thing. Uh, no one shoots on the side, no one ever shoots at the back. The government department concerned have started monitoring and evaluation of the newly established conservation areas by deputing game watchers there. If anyone is found violating the rule, he is punished. You cannot hunt while riding the jeep. It's prohibited. You did not bring the hunting dogs with you. How would you hunt on foot then? No, we actually have dogs in the following vehicle. The funds collected by the hunters are matched by hunting license fees. It's ensured that money from hunting license sales can only be used for wildlife management. For projects such as conducting research, wildlife reintroductions and improving wildlife habitat. These projects benefit a wide range of species, including animals that aren't hunted. This is a Kohati pointer. Uh, this is used for hunting. What it does is that uh, it smells the bird, which is partridge or a quail, and then it points towards that bird and uh, becomes stationary completely. So giving the hunter a chance to come up to the bird and then you flush the bird and it flies and you shoot it. It's part of the sport. Uh, the bird gets a chance to get away and you show your skills by shooting it. It's been a very beautiful day, uh, sunshine and uh, cool breeze and a wonderful day out in the mountains. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get too many partridges because uh, we were a little late and uh, we went into the wrong uh, fields. But uh, the day is still uh, young and uh, we will be shooting and hopefully uh, get our bag of six partridges which uh, we are allowed to shoot. Hunters have banded together in local sportsmen's clubs and national organizations to raise funds for conservation, buy and conserve private lands for wildlife habitat, partner with state and government agencies in large-scale conservation, and lobby for laws and policies that benefit wildlife. The mountain sheep, locally known as Urial, has magically multiplied in this area as now the poaching is stopped and the trophy hunting is open to foreigners only. Ethical behavior is not mandated by laws or regulations, but by an individual sense of right. Ethics generally cover behavior that has to do with issues of fairness, respect and responsibility not covered by laws. For instance, it's not illegal to be rude to a landowner when hunting on his or her property, or to be careless and fail to close a pasture gate after opening it. But most hunters agree that discourteous and irresponsible behavior is unethical. There has been a move away from the preservation of wilderness ideology towards the community-centered discourse of conservation, which stresses the importance of local decision-making in natural resource management. In principle, community-based conservation acknowledges that for the effective conservation of species, people living in the same area must be involved and have the legal rights and responsibilities to manage the resources. Whenever a hunter comes uh, to Pakistan, he comes through uh, the proper channel. There's a legal framework whereby the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Climate Change, along with the provincial governments, they, uh, all of them process the case. And uh, then the visitor comes here. He's handled properly. He's given a proper security cover. And then becomes a guest for these people. And as uh, you know, the people of this area are very hospitable. If I'm not wrong, probably 50 uh, trophies have been harvested and the money which has come 
as a result of those trophies. You see the money has uh, partially been gone to the provincial wildlife department and the rest of the money has actually gone to the communities. Sport hunting, also known as trophy hunting, game hunting and safari hunting involves the hunting of wildlife for sport or recreation. This old form of recreation remains active today and the significance of consumptive wildlife tourism, including sport hunting and fishing, has been increasingly highlighted. Hunters mainly from the USA and Europe visit these countries each year, generating annual revenues. Sport hunting plays an important role not only in the tourism industry but also in conservation policy. The community conservation model aims to involve local people as the main leaders in conservation and rescue management activities by sharing the revenues and employment opportunities generated from conservation and tourism. I am a hunter by nature, it runs in my blood. I believe that uh, this public-private uh, partnership is very important in conservation because we are running out of game. Partridges are diminishing very quickly and uh, even uh, we need uh, a lot of activity, game, hunting, sports uh, in, in such a way that we should patronize, we should patronize this job, we should patronize this hobby. It's a great task, it's a great job. Some researchers and governments regard sport hunting as a tool that can be used to strongly support community conservation. Oh! <laughs>